How are you guys doing today? Today, I wanna talk about how to cancel your credit card in six steps. So stay tuned. My name is Jay, and welcome to Ask a Debt Collector. Now, I've been in the debt collection industry for over 15 years. I've done it all, from skip tracing, to collecting, to management, and I've owned two debt collection agencies. For the past eight years, I've been the go-to guy for friends and family, for questions regarding debt and credit, and now I wanna be that person for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. Let's go. Canceling your credit card is not always a good idea. Um, in the video previous, to this, I think about four videos ago, I explained three reasons to close or cancel your credit card. And now I'm gonna give you six steps that you should do in the event that you're gonna cancel your credit card. Make sure you do these six steps um, to ensure that the account is closed and that you know everything is done the way it should be done, okay? Um, if you haven't had time, please take the time out to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video so that it can get to more and more people, okay? So let's get into the six steps on canceling. Number one, redeem unused rewards on your account before you call to cancel them. Very, very important. If you have reward points or you have rewards on your credit card in general, Redeem those rewards before you cancel them because once you cancel that card, those redeem points go with it. So redeem them. I mean, hey, you earned them, redeem them. Get whatever it is that you can get, the travel, um, you know, the cash back. You don't want to lose out on that. You want to redeem your rewards first. So redeem the rewards first, then you cancel the account out. But redeem your rewards first. Number two, ideally, Pay off all of your credit card accounts, not just the one you're canceling, to zero before canceling any card. At the very least, minimize your balances as much as possible. So, as you guys know, when I talk about how to use your credit card, I always state you only use it like a debit card. Only spend what you have on there, pay off the balance to zero, then that way, if you are canceling an account in general on all of your accounts, they'll be at zero. But in the event that that's not the situation or you're just now watching this and you're just learning how to use your credit cards, if you're going to close out an account, try and bring all your other credit cards to zero. If at least bring it down much, as much as possible. Because what happens is, is once they see one credit card is canceled, a lot of times if a credit company sees that, then they may lower your utilization on your card. But nevertheless, you're, it's all about your utilization for the most part. You don't want to have some maxed out and some not maxed out, and your utilization goes from 50% to 100%. Number three, call your credit card issuers to cancel and confirm that your balance account is at zero. I cannot express to you how many people I have gotten, clients that I have gotten, that have come to me and said, hey, I paid it to a zero balance, what's the deal? To find out that they have pending transactions or even fees, pending fees that are on the account. So call your creditor and make sure that your balance is at zero and that there's nothing pending, right? Number four, mail a certified letter to your credit card issuer to cancel the account. In this letter, request that in writing confirmation of your balance, zero balance, and close account status may be mailed to you. You want that. With a lot of these other creditors, and I, I don't want to pin anyone out there, but a lot of these subprime credit card companies, and subprime is dealing with people with not so good credit. I have had so many clients pay their balance off to zero and then find out that there's some type of fee within the year or whatever the circumstance is. They cancel their account out. They think they canceled it out. A balance gets added onto that their account. Three or four months later, they find out, oh my gosh, I have a balance that's due that has grown over that time span and they thought that they paid the account out. So you have to verify that that information is sent to you. 
and that you get something in writing from the company showing you have a zero balance. Number five, check your three credit reports 30 to 45 days after the cancellation to make sure that the account reports that it was closed by the car holder and that your balance reflects a zero. Obviously, that's so key. You're typically going to have to wait 30 to 45 days. Sometimes you may even have to wait till later, um, you know, 60 days to make sure that that is updated on your credit report and showing that you look on there, you verify that information. Number six, dispute any incorrect information on your reports with the three credit bureaus, right? So after you've done one through five, Number six, if you see anything that's inaccurate on your credit report, make sure you dispute it immediately as whatever the circumstance is. I understand closing out a credit card account can become a very, very taxing and hard thing to do. But if you go through those six steps, make sure you follow through on all six of those steps. It will help your situation become so much better and easier if you have to cancel a card. Now, if you have any questions regarding this credit or debt, pin them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, you be great.